All right, ready, Alan? Mm -hmm. Am I in frame? Yeah. I have pictures in my head. It's like a dream fugue state. It's just, I'm watching this movie in my head. I don't know where the pictures come from. They do what they do. I've always said this, I'm not smart enough to think of all this shit. I just write it down. So Lassiter is a, he's such an exquisite jackhole. He is the law of chaos in the world. I mean, he wears zebra print leggings. He has hair like David Lee Roth circa 1980. He watches the Golden Girls on television. He's been around for a long time. He's been a major player. And with each book, he's gotten a little bit more power, a little bit more influence. And the anticipation for this book has been unparalleled. I mean, he's been 12 years in coming or something. And I love him. He's one of my favorite characters I've ever written. And I hope readers feel the same way about him. One of my favorite things about the virtual signing is the team comes Hi. in. I love you. And it's basically a quilting circle, but with a lot of cursing. A virtual signing is an opportunity for readers and fans to get a book personalized to them by me. And yes, I have signed every single book. Now would be a great time for a pee break, anyone. <laughs> Spending five or six, seven days in a basement doesn't sound like it's super fun, but depends on who you're with. Now, I'm 42. I apparently have excessive testosterone in my body and I have whiskers. <laughs> One of the things that's really cool is now that we've done these virtual signings, you recognize the people who order every year. For the order forms, we give um, people Obviously, to whom would they like it personalized? And then sometimes people will put in little notes. And I love this one. Kim, Kim wants me to say, Kim, I know you've been waiting a couple of years for this. Make sure to hydrate and pace yourself. And I was like, I will write this shit out of that. One of the things that I think is really interesting about the series is there are so many parallels to the trials and tribulations of real life. You know, I, I, I had um, a woman say that she had just been diagnosed with something that is very catastrophic and, you know, offering words of encouragement um, is something that, you know, is a reminder about how much escapist fiction can actually take people out of their lives a little bit. There is no typical J.R. Ward reader. And I think that that's one of the reasons why the series has found such a, a, a hearty fan base. And I think that when people read these books and they see themselves in this cast of vampires, I think is what makes people graft onto it so much. That just shows me um, how people are still really behind the series and really excited for it. The first Saturday after release, we're going up to Cincy and it's gonna be a hot dumpster fire of amazingness. It's like, who the else am I gonna talk to the Brotherhood about? Like, my husband? I wanna be with my people. <laughs> so we are about to shoot episode two of the YouTube channel, and we are going to be heading up. Here's an obligatory Lucy shot. Hey, girl, hey. And we are heading up to preview the Northern Kentucky Convention Center, where we're gonna be having our event, which is almost sold out, which is amazing, six weeks ahead of time. <laughs> the thing is, is I have a great team of people that I work with. It's his team and my team. Everyone just like got along and fit in really well together. And so now he's just part of our regular routine. All right, ladies. So you guys know what we're doing today. We're gonna head up and uh, do our scouting report mm -hmm. for the location for the event. Being that we're gonna have a bigger crowd this year, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna bring everybody, be all hands on deck for the security team. Okay. So everybody will be there and um, We'll go through today and kind of do our walkthroughs and kind of get it laid out. I just have one question. Will we find out where our hard room is? <laughs> All right, well, clock's ticking, so let's head up to the next spot. Okay. I want to peel 
out right now. I wanna <laughs> do, <laughs> do some donuts. I like just the sense that it's a big ass car. You know, like when you roll up to this one, you're like, hey, what's up? Hi! And see, look, we roll up on somebody, they don't know if you're an author or a rapper, you know? <laughs> it's like best of both worlds. <laughs> Vampires have babies? They can? Yeah, well, otherwise, okay. yeah. We've done presidential dignitary escorts. We've done celebrities. We're right up there. <laughs> we I mean, we've done. We're not right up there. We are yeah, like. <laughs> the highest, you know, elevated celebrities in the world. But what we really like about working with you guys is that we're yeah. treated as, you know, part of the team, part of the family. Sarge can pretty much do anything, and he puts up with us, which is amazing, because we're extra. We're like extra, extra. I always go into these events with like the best of intentions, and like I'm not gonna say the word in it, but it, like inevitably I'll get like rolling, and people will start asking me questions. So um, yeah, it can get kind of perilous to take me out in public. My mom did the best she could. One more time, sorry. One more time. I want people to come to our events and have a really fucking awesome time. Like, I know I have a great time, right? And I want everyone to enjoy themselves and be at ease. And that's the reason why I have the security I do. So what we'll do first thing is we'll go to the green room. <laughs> So if it's an emergency and we gotta get out of here, it's gotta kind of look like this. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so comfortable walking in to talk to a thousand people because I feel like for the most part, we're all coming at it from the fact that we all just like the books, you know? It's a, it's a community. It is a loud, funny, boisterous, ass-kicking community. We're all in this at the same level together. You know, we're just a giant f***ed up marching band. God, is she dead again? Yeah, don't worry. Nobody will notice. You know, she didn't look too good. Ma! Hey.